The Unidome was once again the site for the Missouri Valley Conference Indoor Track and Field Championships, and this year there were some outstanding individual and team achievements on the Oval. For many student athletes, the MVC Indoor Meet is the culmination of a short indoor season that began right after Christmas. But for others, it was a chance to compete for an individual title, a team championship, and offer a final tune-up before the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. In the team races, the UNI men shared third place with Southern Illinois at 121 points, while Indiana State won the meet. On the women's side, UNI finished with 41 points for a sixth place finish. It was a competitive event across the board. Well, I think the team competed really well. They competed really hard, and you know, we got the points that we were supposed to get. Uh, they didn't come from the events I thought we were gonna get them from, but we did have people step up all over the place. So, uh, you know, normally what we scored today is enough to win a title on the men's side. And it wasn't the case today, but uh, they still did very, very well. I'm very, very proud of them. And for the women, you know, we've got a couple athletes redshirted that would have helped us, but they still, they competed really well. And, uh, you know, with what we have coming in, I'm really excited about where we're going. They're, they're being very, very competitive. We have some really tough kids. In his only race at the championship, senior Carlos Anderson won the 60 meter dash for the third consecutive year and set a meet record in a time of 6.7 seconds. Anderson beat the old MVC meet mark and narrowly edged his teammate Derek Kramer, who placed second in the event. Oh, we had a lot of really good high points. Um, Carlos Anderson and Derek Kramer in the 60 meters, fantastic uh, one-two finish. Jordan Guskey in the 200. Um, nobody would have thought he was going to win the whole thing, and the way he competed was just fantastic all the way through the finish, and, and he won the thing. The men's distance medley, I thought, uh, was maybe the highlight of the meet, just because it was so exciting, and the way the kids competed was uh, terrific, terrific to see, and um, it's a great way to end the first day of the championship. The, the 4x4s, once again, were very, very exciting, the men and the women. Both of them ran uh, outstanding races, very competitive. Everybody stuck their noses in it, and both teams came away all-conference, so really proud of both teams. Sophomore sprinter Jordan Guskey was part of the 4x400 meter relay team that won the MVC Indoor Championship last year, and he earned his first individual crown winning the 200 meter dash this year. The Panthers also had strong showings in the multi-events on the weekend. The heptathlon was also terrific. I uh, was really proud of Ethan Miller. He's uh, you know, looking really strong heading into the conference championship, still put up a nice score today. Uh, he was also a third place finisher in the pole vault. Tommy Larson, Struggled a little bit at his opening bar and then he really got together and uh, just kept making bars and for him to finish all conference is just thrilling. He's a great kid, works really, really hard and uh, really happy to see him, him succeed in that event. Uh, Libby Torsani was fantastic once again in the pole. She had a great indoor season and uh, for her to finish all conference is just fantastic to see. You and I graduated MVC champion shot putter Justin Romero but returned sophomore Justin Baker and MVC champion thrower Jordan Williams. Both Justin and Jordan teamed up to score points for the Panthers. Justin Baker, all conference in the shot put. He finished third place and it was great to see him do that. He's just getting better and better. And uh, Jordan Williams, you know, he's hurt, he hurt his hand in the shot put uh, a few weeks ago. And he's, he's been on the man. He didn't quite get it back in that event, which is too bad because uh, he's one of the best in the conference. But he was still all conference in the weight throw and he competed really well and showed a lot of character, I thought. The Panthers will now set their sights on the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships held March 8th and 9th in Arkansas.